Spider-Man No Way Home is one of the highest grossing films of all time and it is now back in theaters. The extended cut of the film adds 11 minutes of footage to the original version and despite the movie being nearly nine months old and widely available online, it's already managed to bring in another $6 million over Labor Day weekend. It's expected to bring in at least another $1 million on Labor Day, which is probably today. It means Spider-Man No Way Home actually dethroned Top Gun Maverick at the top of the box office charts over Labor Day weekend, which that's an achievement. Now, the movie theater competition has been a little slim recently. Top Gun has been putting up insane numbers week after week, and so far it's generated $700 million in revenue. Now, No Way Home, on the other hand, is currently the third highest grossing movie ever, and with it now reclaiming its spot at the top of the box office, it's very possible it'll cross the $1 billion mark. Granted, it still has a ways to go, but if Sony keeps pushing it, it could happen. And I'm talking about domestic. I'm not talking about worldwide. Are you going to go out and see No Way Home again? I, I probably am. 11 minutes of footage, and I think we get a different post credit scene? Yeah, I probably am.